What's going on YouTube? I'm your man Uncommon Sense and welcome back Uncommon Sense fam. If you're new to the channel, after you've taken a look around and you decide that this is the place for you to be, I want you to do all three. Like, comment, and subscribe. So, today's video, we have a three-in-one, all from the same house. Our niche house for today, Montauk. First off, I want to just give a couple of shout outs. First and foremost, I want to shout out Dr. Rose Chaperone for sending me two of the three niche samples that I'm going to review today and do my first impressions on. She keeps me stocked with some of the most up-to-date information. We're going to give Chad a shout out because he actually was the one who pointed me to my fragrance sample, actually sent me a free sample. You guys already know what time it is. I told you we're doing a three-in-one, and guess what? We about to get into this thing. Let's go. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. Our Montal 3-in-1 First Impressions Fragrances lineup is as follows. Montal Intense Cafe, Montal Intense Roses Musk, and Montal Oud Lagoon. First up, Montal Intense Cafe. Off top in the opening, I get a little bit of that rose. Something very sweet. Maybe coffee or chocolate. I think it's chocolate. With a little bit of coffee bean in the background. Maybe some vanilla. I've not done the note review of any of this yet. Just giving you guys the first impression of what I'm picking up, what I'm smelling. That's pretty nice. It's something a little bitter now coming up on my skin. It's dark coffee. A little gourmand in there. Amazing. It actually puts me in the place of a coffee shop. Not Starbucks. An artisanal type of coffee shop. It smells pretty damn good. Montal Intense Cafe is unisex. I can definitely agree with it. It's a unisex fragrance. I can, I can see, see either a man or a woman wearing it. It would smell great on both. All in all, if I have to rate it, I'd give it a seven and a half out of 10. Next up, Intense Roses Musk. Okay. Now for Intense Roses Musk, Off top, I'm starting to get something synthetic up front, whether it be rubbery or plasticky. This fragrance reminds me of Mancetta's Rose Oud and Musk. However, if I had to compare the two, I'm leaning more towards favoring Montal's Intense Roses Musk. Because that plasticky, rubbery note is not as apparent. I'm guessing that may be the Oud toning up on my skin. Let that dry down a little bit. As you can see, good concentration of oil there. I like this one. The musk is present, but it's in the background as of right now. The roses are a little bit more up front. It's floral, musky. <laughs> it's a little earthy too. Even though it may be marketed toward women, I can see myself pulling this fragrance off because I have the type of body chemistry that it will work well for me. I didn't expect to like rose oud and musk from Mancetta. I'm actually glad that Dr. Rose Chaperon sent it to me because I probably wouldn't have given it a chance any other way. Same with this one. I probably wouldn't have looked for this one in my journey, but she's learned me and know that I'm uncommon sense, so she sends me some of everything. Again, thank you so much, Dr. Rose Chaperon. I wouldn't be able to do this video without you. If I had to score Intense Roses Must by Montal, I'd give it an eight and a half. It smells sexy, it's alluring, it's uncommon. Other than the Rose Oud Musk, I've not smelled anything else like these fragrances. With Intense Roses Musk being a bit more digestible to my nose from the oak, I can see myself wearing this spring, fallish, I don't know about summer. We just enter summer. 
I would wear this, but it will probably be on days that I'm going to be inside. I don't particularly know how it's going to perform in the heat itself. However, I can say it's going to smell amazing. These fragrances tend to have great performers and have amazing longevity. Next up, Ancera's Oud Lagoon. And that was gifted to us by My Fragrance Sample. Shout out to My Fragrance Sample for sending this sample. I didn't even order this one. I'm thankful that you guys sent me this sample because it gives me a little bit more content and it also allows me to test drive a few other scents that I may be in the market to be purchasing a little bit later on. Oh. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Off top, floral, a little bit of sweetness. Kind of has an expensive upper echelon car freshener, high price laundry detergent, fabric softener type of vibe. Oh my gosh. Let me say this. Of these three, Oud Lagoon is my favorite right now. It's really fresh. I remember I love me Lady Lulu. Last week she did peach and apricot fragrances and a lot of those had osmanthus in them. So her and I were discussing. I said, I don't have any fragrances with osmanthus in them. And she told me to come on by and sniff a few. We're actually going to be going by Lulu's this week to check her out. Uh, give our own common sense take on fragrances that she has in her collection. So I'm excited for that. Of this three in one that I'm doing, this is probably my absolute favorite. Oud Lagoon right now is rocking the house. I give this one right now a solid nine and a half. It's gonna do well on my skin. I feel like it's gonna be perfect for summer. It feels tropical and vacation-like, but there is a sweet floralness about it that I really like. It's really fresh. I love fresh fragrances, so. Ooh, Lagoon is this, oh, it just smells like a luxury fabric softener. Just high grade, natural, sweet, fresh, Intense cafe is smelling like chocolate and coffee right now. As it's drying down a little bit more with a hint of vanilla. Intense roses musk is smelling like roses with a little bit of musk in the background. With just a little bit of that earthiness. I'm not sure what that note is right now. That earthy, rubbery, plasticky note is now starting to kind of come in. But again, it's not as in your face and up front as Mancera. Oud Lagoon is smelling like fresh, sweet fabric softener sheet. So I'm sure it's an aquatic. Oud Lagoon is unisex as well. I'm going to be wearing this one. I don't care who it's intended for. I am going to be getting me a bottle of Montal's Oud Lagoon, and that'll probably be my first full bottle out of all of these three. Had I not smelled Oud Lagoon, I probably wouldn't have given it a shot at all. And I'm very thankful that I did because I don't hear much about it in FRAGCOM, which is, again, perfect for me. You guys know who I am. Uncommon Sense. So, That's right up my alley in terms of fragrances that are not as popular or not as talked about in FRAGCOM. I'm very thankful that I've gotten a chance to get my nose on all three of these fragrances from the House of Montal. I thank you guys for sticking around with me and viewing my content. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, make sure that you like and comment. Let me know what are some of your favorites from the House of Montal. Are there any other fragrances that you feel I would like based on what I've sampled today? Let me know what you guys have in your collection that you think I should pick up, sample, review, etc. And we'll get into that thing. It's been your boy, Uncommon Sense. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, the top, and the sides as well. I'm out. Till next time.